Good evening, folks. This is Jacob Folger, our sculptor, and tonight we're going to make a fairy house. And uh, we'll be working in this Amico brand uh, modeling clay, which is an air dry clay. It's really a nice clay. It's very easy to work with, and uh, it stays where you put it. It does what you want it to do. So, yeah, I highly recommend it. And so, let's get started. Thank you. 
Well, I've been busy, as you can see. Um, yeah, so uh, it is now time to smooth and go in around all the nooks and crannies and take you can take little tiny bits of clay and just uh, you know put them in wherever there's gaps or places where it might not be well blended because you want to last you want to last a long time um, many many years right so um, you gotta do a really good job of blending and filling gaps and making sure everything is really solid um, and so the uh, smoothing um, and just take your time uh, you don't want a lot of water on your brush and just uh, go around and get all the thing nice and smooth and uh, take your time and do that and then when you're done with that if you want you can put it in the oven on a warm setting and uh, maybe for like a half hour to 45 minutes at the most uh, just to dry the surface so we can put a finish on it and that's what I'm going to do and then we'll be back okay uh, just took uh, this out of the oven a little while ago. It's pretty dry to the touch. I think the bottom is still uh, moist, but um, it's uh, good enough to paint. And so we're gonna. I'm using uh, Benjamin Moore acrylic paint, and uh, it's pretty nice paint, really. I, I like it. I did it on an earlier piece of gargoyle that I made, and. It worked out really nicely. Uh, it has really good coverage. Um, and seems to adhere well to the, uh, to the uh, clay, which is really nice. Anyways, um, I'll put a, that in the video description. There'll be a tool and supply list, and I'll list that. Um, and yeah, so... Uh, you want to go around and paint it and look at it from every direction and get the paint into all the details and nooks and crannies and uh, <clears throat> you have to you really have to look at it from every direction when you're painting it because there's so many places where you could uh, that clay uh, unpainted clay could be hiding. And you might need a small brush to get into the deep recesses of the flowers and all that sort of thing. And then uh, do a second coat also, uh, just to make sure you didn't miss anything. And then we'll come back and uh, we'll do a really pretty finish on it. It'll be really pretty. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, we're back and the fairy house is black and... So we're going to be using Johnson's Paste Wax and Pearl X Pigments uh, in a variety of colors. And everything, all, everything I'm doing and using today will be in the video description tool supply list. So I uh, get a little bit of wax on my brush. Every time I get a little bit of wax, I dab it off on the table and then... I dip it into the color that I'm going to use and I dab it again on the table and then I apply it. Um, and this is actually Duo Red Blue here. And I try for kind of an antique look so I'm not looking to cover all the black. So. That's how you do it, and let's go!
Another thing you can do is you can get some wax on your finger, like that, and swirl it with your thumb. Dip it in the bronze, get it on your finger like that, swirl that, and you can go around and highlight different areas with the bronze. It's really, really pretty. Mm. You can get some bonds on your finger and you can highlight the flowers, the petals of the flowers. Mm. Mushrooms, sides of leaves. Just trying to add some fun to it. The final step of this finish is to buff it gently with a soft cloth. And I'll bring out the sheen of the paste wax and really make the bronze and the colors just pop. And really is quite beautiful. Just gently. You can see. It's just amazing, really, to see it in person. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous, really gorgeous. Here it is, complete. Basically two fairy houses in one, right? Where do you see that? So if you could, please give the video a like, share it with your friends and family, and leave me a comment or a question and I'll reply. Please send me pictures of your fairy house and things you make from my tutorials and uh, I'd love to see them. My email address is in the on my channel page at Jake Folger um, in the About section. And please subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.